All right, welcome back to the channel. This should be video four, I believe. Not sure. Of the F-150 frame repair. Now, I'm not really even calling this a repair at this point. It's just kind of a band-aid patch sort of thing. Um, my welds just aren't really up to par. It I mean, it's better than it is. It was, but that isn't saying much. All right, gas tank is out, and that was a pain in the butt. These connectors are a joke. I broke this one. This is the, the yellow one on the EVAP side. Um, they get full of dirt, and then you cannot get the things to open up properly. Um, these you got to press this in and it's supposed to do something and it finally did something and came off and it, it just it annoyed me I broke this one I have the yellow piece that goes on this side I can put it back in and I think this will still be usable It'll probably never come back off. But like, it's such a such a stupid design. There's a piece in the middle that's missing that I broke off, and it is connected to a yellow piece that looks like that, but it's on this side. So you're supposed to press in on these two which pushes that side over and pull on the tab, which pulls that side back. But it is extremely fragile. I barely touched it and it broke the little L-shaped piece off. And then after that, it was just a fight. Evidently, these connectors are expensive. I think you gotta have some special tool to put them on. I don't know. Anyway, it's off and that's really what matters. This pile here is from uh, about a two foot section of the frame. It's just dirt and rust. I'd say it's probably 50-50. So you can see, got some holes down here. It doesn't look that bad up there. But I haven't messed with it and I'm not going to right now. Since I got the tank out, I need to get the truck jacked up. I'm going to put the jack stands back up on the leaf spring mount again. So I can crawl under here. Um, I'm going to put my other jack stands down here somewhere. Because, yeah, this frame is a little scary. You know, it's, it's like I was saying before, it's so bad that you can't even really jack it up in one spot. The only way to get it to go is put a 2x4 and distribute the load. That other side is, uh, it looks bad, but, but the inside of this is equally as bad or worse. I don't know what that yellow junk is on the exhaust over there, and I'm just not going to worry about it. That's like the least of my concern. So it's pretty late, but I got to get this going. Hopefully, the neighbors don't get mad and call the cops on me for making a bunch of noise because they're like that. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a low spot. I think you put the drain hole back here in the curb in order to get the most drain. And it, it, they should have made the sidewalls out of a thicker steel and made more drain holes so it didn't hold. So what happens is you know, it holds all this dirt and crap. 
and then that dirt absorbs water and the water stays in there as mud and it just eats your frame. I'm also in the Midwest, so you get the salt and all that junk. And the sometimes pretty bad winters. But that's beside the point. The point is I need to fix this. So I've been hitting this with a hammer finding the weak spots to figure out where I need to plate. I mean, technically I should probably plate everything, but I, I don't know, that's, that's not in the works for this point in time. I would like to do that in the future, but probably not worth it on this. So, okay, I'm gonna jack the truck up, get the jack stands underneath it, get it on the inside, and I'm going to start there because that's the side you can't get to with the tank in. When I get some progress, I'll bring you back. Okay, I got one plate on the inside of the frame. I struggled quite a bit. Just not a lot of room in there. So, I think I'm going to call it a night. And I'll come back tomorrow and hit it with some fresh eyes and Maybe do a little better. Okay, it's the next day. I got the truck jacked up some more. I was having trouble getting under it. Got a jack stand down there. I got two of them up front. I'm gonna move on down. And I made a template. So I'm gonna go cut that out now. So I got it drawn onto here. So I'm just gonna zip this off, zip this off, and then get the rest of this cut out and then this will go around that beam and then I can weld up around it get a little bit more stability got the grinder set up I'm gonna grab the gloves and get going all right there's the plate cut it's ready to tack in I'm gonna get it tacked and then I'll weld it up start moving on down covering up the carnage okay cool Amazon showed up Bed bowl. Packages inside packages. Yep. <laughs> cool. That should work. Actually, it looked a little heavier duty than the factory ones. All right, I'm gonna put these aside. I gotta keep working on this frame. Working on the outside of the frame on the driver's side. I got the last piece clamped up here. I'm about to tack it on. I've just done a two inch section down there where there was holes and that was about as far up as I could get and I found you know, solid metal there a couple of spots that it was pretty thin so I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that it's probably about as good as I'm ever going to do this truck it's just not worth it it really needs a new frame or it needs to have the cab lifted off and to go through and blast it and start replacing but it would take hours and hours and several hundred dollars with the steel and I just don't think it'd be worth it after all that so I'm gonna get that tacked in and then weld it in I need to get some stuff done on the inside of the passenger frame and probably a couple small patches on the back here and I think I'm going to put the tank back in. Okay, I am done with the driver's side as much as I'm going to be for now. I went ahead and threw some of that rust reformer on the frame. It can't really hurt. 
Um, I also got some paint I'm going to spray over the top of it too, just to save it as long as I can until I can get in here and actually do a good job of it. So I moved over to the passenger side and I've done the cleanup process so I can weld. And so far, this is the pile of dirt and rust that I've pulled out of there. There's still some more up under the truck and more will come out. It's just amazing how much junk is in these frames. There's not enough drain holes and they're spaced too far apart too. So I'm gonna switch out the grinder, probably put the wire wheel on there and crawl back underneath the truck and see what I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the inside of the passenger side from the driver's side. So I got that all jacked up. So yeah, I'll put the tank back in after, probably after this side's all done. Okay, here we are underneath the truck. This is the, looking at the passenger side. Um, you can see a pretty good long chunk of missing metal. There's more up under behind this. I'm not taking this out. Like, that used to be a bolt and nut, and it's just metal and rust now. Anywho, I'm going to clean it up. I'll go up to about here, all the way across. Typically, that's where I found the metal is about the the thickest is kind of the bottom of that oval hole or the top of that oval hole and I can just go from the end of the crack all the way up here is one piece all right back under the truck got two pieces cut out that one just held on the clamp I'll get this one tacked into place, and then I'll tack that one and get her welded in. Okay, inside the passenger frame's done. This is the outside, the passenger side. It's a lot better than the other side. I'm going to get the hammer out and start hitting places, see if I can poke through. Got one little spot here. I'll clean all the rust off. And See what we got. Hopefully, I don't have to do a whole heck of a lot on this side. So I'm getting really tired of welding. I want to get this thing put back together and get it out of here. So I guess if I find anything interesting, I'll bring you back to look at it. But it's looking like pretty much that hole there, and there's probably some thin spots. But for the most part, it's really not bad. I guess we'll see. Okay, I got her cleaned up. I used the wire wheel, got the big stuff off, and came back to the flat disc. Used my welding hammer, the pointy end, ting ting on here, and I found some more stuff. A little soft in here. So I'm probably gonna make one piece to go from this bracket all the way up to here. That should wrap this up for now. So you can see clear through. I didn't patch back here. That's where that hanger is on the other side. I definitely will address that at some point. But it's just not needed right now. I'm going to go ahead and get this piece cut out. We'll tack it in and weld it up and then I'm going to move on and get the gas tank put back in. That might be for tomorrow, I'm not sure. But it should be pretty quick.
there we go. It's my last piece. I gotta go put it up under the truck. I'll clamp it on. I gotta cut a little angle out of it yet. Almost there. I gotta cut a notch in it to fit over that cab mount. Now I can put it up over the frame and mark out my little angle cut. Here I've got the angle drawn out. So I'm loaded up in the vise. Get this thing cut out. I am ready to be done grinding and ready to go home. There you have it, hopefully the last piece. Well, it's gonna be the last piece for this series. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this up and weld it on, and then I'm gonna paint it. <laughs>